Yeah, let's see what this beat sound like. Yeah, there's love, there's hate, lies and games, faith. Alright, so today's video is about what type of customer, what type of person normally will purchase a muscle car. All right, and I figured this video would be very helpful to all the salespeople out there, people that work at like Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Like, I, I know for the most part, those companies don't really sell their bread and butter, isn't their muscle cars. But if you do sell them, I'm pretty sure you know you make a pretty decent commission. So, my take on the, the people, or uh, yeah, I would say the demographic of, of people that normally purchase muscle cars are usually people in today's world that have hectic or stressful jobs and they need some auto therapy once they get out of work. So, and let me further explain. So people that are like in IT, people that are like uh, nurses, people that work in construction, uh, like people like, and, and you know, those, anybody that, that has like a real stressful type of job, and once they leave work, they want to hear that V8 rumble. They want to feel like the car. Those are the people that are going to be in, in muscle cars. That's like the first set of people. I'd say the second group of people would be anyone that's acceptable to marketing. So, for, for example, right? If you like grew up in the 80s and you watch Knight Rider and stuff like that, then you probably wanted to have like that Knight Rider car. That's how, you know... Uh, I got into Camaros because I was one of those guys that watched Knight Rider and I wanted to get a Trans Am. They weren't available and at the time there was a Camaro that looked just like it and that's how I got my first Camaro. So that's that's what kind of got me into it and then you know just like how Fast and Furious got a whole bunch of people into Supras. So there's going to be people that are susceptible to marketing that will get them into uh, to muscle cars. Like I know uh, Matt Moran I think he watched the movie Bullet or something like that, and that just had him hooked. He had to get a bullet, you know? So that's, you know, he had to get that Mustang. And it's the same thing for people, you know, in Fast and Furious, they saw the Chargers and Challengers and stuff, and they saw Vin Diesel with it. So people that's susceptible to marketing, they will also be another demographic. And then I would say the last demographic of people that normally would get muscle cars are basically just hardworking people, people that enjoy the grind that, you know, they work hard, like, you know, like I mentioned construction workers before, but also like MMA fighters, boxers, um, any any type of athlete, people that, that do, you know, like real hard work, you know, those, those people are going to be, or very, people that are very like masculine, or even like women that were really close with their brothers and dads and stuff, and you know, and they got into to like, you know, they do something very, uh, it could, they could fall into any one of the categories. So women could be in, in, you know, the category of the hard worker or a stressful job or susceptible to marketing. But yeah, so it's, it, those are really like the three groups of the demographics that I would say are the people that, that buy uh, muscle cars. Um, so I fell into the, the marketing one. Uh, I know, you know, uh, Q and Blueprint 1LE, they're in the, you know, they, they work the stressful jobs. They're like in IT and stuff. And, you know, and I know some construction workers uh, with it. And now we're getting ready to go check out uh, my guy. You, you've seen him in videos before. We're going to go check out my guy, Rob, Rob Pitbull. He's an MMA fighter. We're going to go meet up with him, see what his daily grind is like and check out his muscle car. So tune in. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one.
robbed the pit bull. Y'all just seen him work just now. No. He, yo. Know, so, all right. You guys know, like, I have a love for the fight game and everything. So I had to come see him do his thing. But we're also legit car guys. And he just pointed out something real strange to me, guys. Check this out. So, look at the look at the wheels here, right? The, in, on the brakes, on the rotors. You see a little bit of rust, but not nothing. You don't really see any rust, right? Now, let's come over to the driver's side of the car. Rust, <laughs> like, like, okay. Now let's look on his car on the passenger side. No rust, right? Rust on the, on the driver's side of mine. No rust on the passenger side of his. And then no rust on the passenger side. And then we head over to the driver's side. Rust, what the hell, like. <laughs> How? Let me see. And, and on both, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you guys know the reason for that, why that happens, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, man, how, how have you been enjoying the car, like, since the last time I, I met up with you? Um, the car I've been enjoying, the service from Dodge sucks. Yes, I've been so, hearing that from everybody. It's like I've, I've honestly came really close to trading it in. Uh -huh. I've looked at the Supra. Right. I've looked at the M4, the M3, the M2. The M2 is actually a fun car. Right, right. Um, I actually even looked at a Q60 Red Oh, me too. Um, me too. The, um, the difference between them is a couple of mods on the M4s, M3s. Mm -hmm. You can get as much, if not more, horsepower than I have. Oh yeah, way more. Because <laughs> it's your, turbo, right? Yeah. And then put your boulder ones, and now you're over what this is. So yeah, like, yeah. Looking so, at those. but you know why I think it's hard to get away from this, especially your color. 392 wide body Challenger. Yeah, American the American muscle. The American muscle. The sound and the way it looks. Just come on, guys. Look at how beautiful <laughs> this car is. I remember when you pulled up to the show the last time, yeah. we were giving out like awards to best in show or whatever. And then we was like, oh man, we're lucky you came late. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just look at the presence of this car, man. It's literally like, you look at mine and it's like, okay, it's nice. But it's just, it's just something about it. Like, I, you know, obviously I'm a Camaro guy, yeah. but there's just something about these cars is so beautiful. Like I, if I had more, more funds coming in, I would have one of these. Cause it's just, it's just a gorgeous car, you know? Yeah, I think that's the big. I think that's what's kind of helped me from trading it in. Is like, oh, you look back. Um, yeah, the biggest thing that helped me from trading it in is just that, just, just the factor of what it is. Yeah. It's like, hmm, do I keep it, pay it off, and just kind of do what I want with it? And just it's, it's a car, especially now that they're trying to push everybody into EVs. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you know, there's not going to be cars like this in the future. No. no, I mean, Dodge is already talking about their. Um, I think it's the tomahawk yeah 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 they go on evs so it's like you know do you get rid of something that you might not ever be able to get again <laughs> or if you can't get it it's going to be way up there the exactly price. exactly or you keep what you got and just kind of go from there kind of bear with it stick that's the it. struggle find all of us great mechanic. yeah <laughs> that's, that's all well that's say. what i was going to tell you you should probably find like a performance shop that you could take it to yeah that'll, that'll probably make everything so much better yeah i think yeah. i might have one uh got recommended uh, by um a couple of guys from the forum mm -hmm. um, i talked to the guy not too long, or a few days ago actually uh -huh. uh, because there's an upgrade that i want to do to it i want to put the uh hp tuner on and i want to actually Ooh. Drop why not diablo sport phones. man um Cause you know we got a link with Diablo Sport, and they're right up here. I could plug you in. So the only thing with the Diablo is like it's kind of a user preference. Right. Um, Diablo is kind of like you have your set parameters you've got to go with. Right. HP is no, but you can take it. You can get it um, if there's like I know for for us we got Redline Motorsports in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. They tune with the Diablo Sport software. I think it's a. Uh, uh, EFI or something, so I kept, I, I forgot the name of it, okay. but they'll they'll custom tune your car using that Diablo Sport. Gotcha. Yeah, I, then, you know, honestly, I, I haven't really, I'm still looking, trying to decide what I want. Right. Um, the biggest part is, so I can, I got my headers and my, um, my, long, or my, um, uh, High flow cats sitting Ooh, in the house. Okay, yeah, so you didn't even put them in yet. No, oh. Every day sitting there. So you waiting until you get. I, I gotta get my PCM. Right. And then get my tune and then add that on there. And I'm gonna have to get a 
honestly, I want to put a cam on it. Oh my God! Imagine this with a cam, yeah. Until I until I decide if I want to do it, keep it natural, or if I want to do um, with the Pro Charger, because Pro Charger actually makes a uh, a dual setup for this thing. Oh, do they? And it's amazing. Well, so, that's going. I think that's too much power, man. I think you're yeah. good. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to enjoy the what yo. Know, being able to get into it and just enjoy it. Yeah, them. matter of fact, this is, right. this is manual, right? Yep. Let, come on, open it up, man. Let's take a look inside. It's dirty, y'all. It's dirty. Uh, this is a fighter's car. This yeah, is a, yeah. a show car. Man, for a fighter's car, look at it. The most important part, that manual gearbox, three pedals. <laughs> That's yeah, it. Yeah, man. So, yo, while you there, why don't you give us a little rev? Let's right. see what this beat sound like. Cleared out my ears. Huh? I think the first time we did this, I think it was still stuck. Oh, is that what it was? I believe so. Yeah, because my ears didn't bother me that first time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, well, it's always a pleasure meeting up with you, man, yeah. and I love having you on the channel. Yes, sir. So, what's your Instagram in case anybody wants to come uh, follow you? Man? Instagram is pitbull underscore unleashed um, on Instagram, and on my link tree, there's all my links to my promoter, my um, sponsors, to um, the promotions that I fight under, everything. All right, all right. And do you have a fight coming up anytime soon? Uh, nothing yet. Hopefully have something August 20th uh, for combat night. Okay. In Tallahassee. We'll see what happens. Awesome, awesome. Yo, you guys go subscribe to him. I'll put his, the, the link to his Instagram right here. And you guys go, go show support, man. He's an awesome dude. Thank you, brother. All right, man. Race car friends, out. <laughs>